Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing our dabbed abstract painting uh, with some softer primary colors. So you can see I've got the red, the blue, and the yellow, but they're softer. I mean, it's a light yellow, a light blue, and a light red. Um, just thought it'd be fun to do that color combination, because I don't know if I have actually. But today, while I'm painting this, I also wanted to talk about something that I feel is very important for people who are artists especially, but if you're a creative or if you have a business, really anything that you're trying to achieve, I kind of wanted to touch on a subject, and that subject is perseverance. So we're going to go ahead and start painting, but I also wanted to talk about that just in general, especially as, as people who are trying to either start a business or trying to get some kind of creative endeavor off the ground. I really wanted to touch on that because I've been going through that quite a bit. So we're going to start with our yellow um, and we're just going to put our little puddles here. And one thing I wanted to say about perseverance is that obviously it's, it's really tough. Um, you know, I, I create these videos and I enjoy creating the art and the videos, but let's be honest, I'm not doing very well as far as views go. Um, I don't get very vi many views per video. Um, and my paintings, I sell probably a dozen maybe a year, which is not a lot. Um, so I don't do this full time because I couldn't afford it if I did. Um, so I, I really enjoy painting, I really do. And I, I wish you know, that I could do it full time because I would if I could. But the, but the truth is, is I can't. And I've been doing this painting for almost three years, at least two and a half years now. Now, I didn't really take it seriously the first year because I was still kind of just messing around. But I have been painting uh, seriously for about a year and a half. And, you know, again, while I sell paintings from time to time, even at a decent rate, only selling one a month per se for a few hundred bucks is not enough to, to obviously live off of. So no, I don't sell a whole lot, um, and the videos that I create don't get a whole lot of attention. They, they probably get a couple hundred views at most. What is my point out of all this? Well, and we're going to go ahead and start dabbing. We're going to just go ahead and pick up one color and move into the next, just, just as a heads up if you've never seen my videos. Basically, the way that we create these dab paintings is that we take the colors uh, from one point of the paper to another. So if this is your first video, welcome. Um, but that is how we make this these dab paintings. It's kind of a technique that I just kind of stumbled upon, started doing, and really enjoy making paintings with. And this is gloss enamel. If you have not seen my videos, gloss enamel is the type of paint I use. You can do this with acrylic, but uh, it's, they, become, they come very thick, so just be aware of that. But anyway, my point out of all of this is that because the uh, because I've been doing this for two and a half years and you know I I've been doing YouTube you know for about a year and a half but seriously probably for a year and I'm still not to the point where you know I can do it full time or even even make back all of my investment that I've put into it because creating art and painting especially, is expensive. You know, it's it's expensive to buy all the paint and all of the paper or the canvas or whatever you tend to paint on. That stuff is not cheap. You know, and honestly, I'm if I was to be honest about my expenses, um, I'm under. You know, I, I've spent way more investing in the materials than I've made back with the amount of paint paintings that I've sold or even with any revenue I've generated from, you know, YouTube or anything like that. So my point out of all this is that there are, I do come to points where I do want to give up. I mean, I, I constantly actually have those thoughts where I just kind of don't want to keep making it. You know, if, if the paintings don't sell or, you know, if the, uh, if the videos, if nobody watches the videos, then really what's the point in even continuing? Now, I don't know if this is, you know, just my own head. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm not alone in these thoughts. I'm sure other people who create also think these things. And I don't know if this is just in my head. Uh, I, you know, I believe in the Bible. I don't know if it's an attack from Satan. 
you know, just to get in my head to kind of get me to stop. I really honestly don't know. But at the same time, this creating really shouldn't be about anyone else. It should be about you and doing what you can and doing what you love. The problem with that is, is that if you're relying on it to, you know, make money so that you can continue to do it, it does become a problem, right? So what is my, what's the whole point of, of all of this that I'm saying? Well, essentially, you should not get into creating anything, art, music, photography, whatever, thinking that you're just going to make that money right away, okay? Very few people, if any, that I have actually read about were successful right out the gate. And I think that the, the reason for this is because there's a lot of, you know, people who are already established. So you, say, you, you know, you, you just started painting and you've been doing it for six months, right? And you almost expect that people should be buying that artwork by now. But the problem is, is that with the internet and the way that things are nowadays, anybody could start doing anything at any time with almost no barrier to entry. And so when you're entering some kind of marketplace, you know, for creative work, you're now going up against all those other people who have access to the same tools and the same distribution that you do. Now, this isn't a problem per se, but it does raise the bar on how much you have to do in order to get noticed. So unless the work that you do is insanely unique or, you know, it's, it's some kind of work that isn't easily replicated, which I don't find is the case too much now um, because I feel like there's a lot of great talent out there. So it's very hard to do something that's unique. Um, Unless you have something like that or you already have prior connections to some form of, uh, you know, marketing or, you know, connections in some way to something that you're already kind of jumping into. If you don't have connections like that, then you're almost, you're starting from ground zero to go up and compete against the people that already have an established, you know, following or they already have established uh, image or, or whatever, right? So the reason I say all this is because it can be discouraging. It can be discouraging to jump into something and kind of almost hope that people will just love your stuff, tell everyone that they know, uh, and start buying it from you right away, right? That, that just because you created something, you know, people should just jump on and start buying that work because... Uh, you know, because you made it. But I'd like to impart on you a harsh truth that just because you made something doesn't mean you deserve to sell it. And I say that from the bottom of my heart because I, being a creative, obviously want to sell my work, right? Now, some people just make art to, to make it for themselves. My wife tends to make a lot of art for herself or for family and friends. She doesn't sell a lot of it, and she's happy with that. I, on the other hand, wish I could sell every painting I ever did to get it out of my house. So, but just because I want to sell it and just because I made it doesn't mean I deserve to sell it. And I hope that makes sense. But the reason I bring all of this up, the whole perseverance thing, the whole selling thing, is because you have to earn your sales, you, especially as a creative, whether you make art or music or drawings or photos or whatever, you really have to earn it. See, the difference in creating and selling what you've created versus, you know, anything else, having a regular job or selling a normal product, uh, you know, a product that could be mass produced, something like that. But the problem with selling unique items, is that you have to earn a fan base. You have to carve a niche for your work. And it can be frustrating when you make, say you make the, the best painting ever, ever made. But if, if nobody knows who you are, or you can't attract people to it, or nobody knows that you even made it, then it doesn't matter. 
So my point is, is that you have to develop perseverance. Um, even in the Bible, it says that perseverance builds character. And you have to really put in the time and the work to really earn the sales that it takes to be successful as a creative. So I literally have to make tons of work in order to sell one piece. In fact, the recommended, from an article that I saw last year, the recommended amount of works to be able to sell at a point where you can actually sell continuously is to have at least 100 works. Now, if if you make abstract paintings, that's easy, but if you make surrealist paintings or say you're a songwriter, it's not that easy, right? But the point is, is that you just keep going. It's easy to to get lost in the ideas that you should quit or you should give up, that you should stop doing what you're doing because it's, you know, again, it's discouraging to not sell any books or paintings or whatever. It's really discouraging sometimes and it makes you want to quit. But who's going to benefit by you quitting? You know, I often think about that and I'll be honest with you, today is October 15th, okay? You're not going to see this video on the 15th because I have other videos uh, queued up to come out before this. But the reason I'm giving you this date is because today, at work, I work a normal job and sell on the side. I was thinking just today that I should quit painting, right? I should quit all of this. I should quit YouTube. I should quit painting. I should just walk away from it and just do something else but that part of my brain is it comes from a desire to not want to stick things out right because I'm not seeing the results that I want and you know the sales are sporadic and you know the views aren't really happening on YouTube and it's like are people even watching my videos at all does it really matter that I stop making videos but in the same vein, today, this very day where I was thinking of quitting, I received an email from someone that said that, you know, they're very grateful for the video, for one of the, well, for multiple videos, but one specifically. And it was a video that I just kind of put out there thinking that it wouldn't even matter if I did make it. But that person was very grateful and they even emailed me about it instead of just leaving a comment, which means they went out of their way to tell me that they really appreciated that video. So my point out of all this is that it's easy to throw in the towel or to give up because things are not going the way that you expect, especially not right away in the beginning. But again, if you've gained any recognition or following and maybe it's not to the point where you hope that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen you know a year of time i would say is still not even enough to really know if something's going to work or not it really takes time you know probably a couple years to really gain a following that appreciates what you do you know, it's funny, and I, I talked about this in the last video with patience, that, you know, some, I've, I've seen multiple stories where people say, you know, it took me years to become an overnight success. You have to earn it. You know, we, just because we create something doesn't mean we deserve to be rewarded for it as soon as we create it. No, we have to show the world as creatives that we are worth investing our money in. You know, we don't just put something out there and all of a sudden, you know, we're famous and we make a ton of money or, you know, even if that happens, it's, it's not the, the rule, it's the exception. So you've got to persevere. You've got to put in the time and effort. You just have to keep pushing. And even if you can't keep creating, maybe you don't have the money to keep creating pieces. Well, then you just keep marketing what you have. That's just the way that it works. If it was easy and if everybody could make it just right off the bat, then everybody would do it. But that doesn't really happen. You have to keep making the work as much as you can, as best as you can, and showing people over and over until they appreciate your work almost as much as you do. 
if you think about it just in the terms of of a regular product and marketing a regular product, you know, someone has to see a product or service at least seven times, like an advertisement for a product, you know, seven times for them to consider buying the product. Well, that's your product. This is my product. And if people are not seeing it, if I'm not actively promoting myself as an artist and putting in the work to, to build up a portfolio of things for them to be interested, you never know. The, the paintings that I sell, a lot of the ones that I sell, I'm surprised that I even sold them because I hated them. But if I had never made those paintings, they wouldn't have sold. The bottom line is, I get it. You want to throw in the towel sometimes because things are not going the way that you hoped or you've put in the time and it's just not, you're not getting those results. I totally get it. I get it. I've been there. I'm there constantly, actually. But here we are. We made another painting. And as long as it dries well, I think it's sellable. I like the way that this painting turned out. In fact, I'm going to give you guys the close-up. But listen. Listen. I... I didn't want to do this because it's kind of dramatic, but listen, it's important that you not throw in the towel, okay? Yeah, sometimes things like this just don't work out and you have to move on. But if this is your passion, then you just have to keep putting in the time and the effort to make it work, okay? There's really, there's no shortcut. There's no shortcut in the process. If you want it bad enough, you're going to put in that time and effort, but don't expect it right away. Not even in a year, maybe not even two years. I went months before I sold my first painting. Months. And I probably made a few dozen. So that's just the way that it is. All right, so enough of that. I'm going to show you guys the painting. And here is the final piece right there. Maybe I'll take a thumbnail. Cool. All right, so take a look at some of the little flame swirls. So the blue and yellow, they, like these colors actually turn out really good. I actually, uh, I like the way that they turned out better than expected. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Just keep pushing through it. It, you're going to get those days where you feel like you just want to throw in the towel. You want to give up everything and move on to something else. I get that a lot, actually. And there's a lot of other things I could be doing. But if I really care about the painting, then it's not about everyone else. It's about me just putting in the time and effort. If I want it bad enough, then I just got to keep soaking it in. So anyway, guys, I hope that you have a phenomenal rest of your day, evening, whatever it is. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, okay? Take care, guys. Bye.